she has some questions about the new pens. What's the progress on the new facilities? We're probably about eighty percent complete with it. We had uh, one phase up there kind of set us back for the whole week of last week because it was just time consuming what we're doing. We're hoping by the end of this week we're going to be critically yes. They really caused us some problems. Okay. We got well, past. I can tell. I went out there this afternoon mm -hmm. and I didn't trespass. I didn't break any laws. But all I could, from what I could see, it only looks like four of the doors have been enlarged enough for big dogs. That's correct. And what we did is we took, <coughs> there was eight pins on that side, and we combined and made two pins into one right. for the larger dogs. That's right. what so we did. you're only going to have space for four large dogs? Four large dogs, yes. What happens if you get enough? If you have five or six, it's there's 13 dogs out there. What if The other doors will facilitate a certain size dog like they are. And I feel like that, that these are for the really larger dogs than what these are for. And I'm just, just putting it in like um, like we were suggested to do it. On the very back? Where the closer to the woods? Yes. That's your oxidation pond for your septic system. No, no, no. There was a, uh, a fenced-in area there that wasn't the oxidation pond. It, was, it had gates. It looked like it had a gate in it. I understand that. Okay. Okay. The, uh, the whole dog complex is fenced in and gated. Now next to it adjoining is the sewer treatment plant for the industrial park. Right. That's what that is. Okay. To the left. To the, to left. the left, that's correct. And then to the right, I saw the observation pond, but there was a large, it seemed like it was fairly large fenced in area there. I don't know of any more place you're talking about, ma'am. <laughs> Sure, sure, just call me. I'll go, to, go with me. Glad to. Okay, I have another question. Um, is there going to be like regular hours when somebody can go out there and look at dogs, or do they always tell me to call and make an appointment? Who's the lady speaking? Uh, Excuse me, who is she? Who's the lady? Uh, one of the ladies concerned about dogs. That's going to be up to that department. Mm -hmm. The question is, will there be someone on a regular basis? Right. At a specific time every day to where, you know, like you can put on the website, official on charge for two to three dogs. Every day they come it, it, it should be no longer than a phone call. Okay. In, in other words, if you wanted to uh, to go to the uh, holding facility, okay. you could call City Hall and, and we would uh, have Russell could meet you there or someone could. Mm -hmm. And I don't really know what's there at any given time, and, but I'll, I tell them to call the city hall. But I didn't know if, they, if I could tell them, like, from two to three, there's somebody out there. That, that at, at, at this stage, we don't have the manpower to man that location uh -huh. uh, eight hours a day. Uh -huh. not, not at this point. And could, we, I, could we do that for an hour or two at a certain time every day? Because I've had the same problem where the two ladies who did adopt these seven dogs, six dogs, have called me because they couldn't get in touch with City Hall. It took, I know with the first lady, it took a couple of days to get a return call. And so she couldn't even get her call answered to be able to meet someone out there. So it's not running really very smoothly right now. So regular office hours or regular open to the public hours would be a wonderful um, thing for us to know that from 10 to 11 every day or 11 to 12 to noon every day, which would be preferable for people's lunch hours that they could arrange because my store is open from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. and people work punching a clock. They can't really just leave to 
go look at the dolls. It's very inconvenient for them. So. Uh -huh. It's, uh, it's, it's something that we would look at and evaluate. And, and, yes. Okay. When somebody comes to a dog, do you ask for an ID? Hello. Or do you just yes. take a name address and phone number? No. Uh, do we ask for an ID? No. The sales store give an ID. Yeah. Can they try an ID? Yes. How many dogs do you take? How many dogs? They are required to get a shot. Sure, I didn't speak with them directly. Oh, that's bad. Oh, and Frank was good. Yeah. 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 And uh, the, the picture ID, asking for the picture ID, the prepaid receipt is wonderful because I don't think anybody's going to pay $150 for all this to turn around and give it to the fighting dog face dog. Did the lady come and claim her white? That's it. The dog is still there? Yeah, it is. Does it need that's a home? Cool. Does it need a home now? Because she hasn't claimed it. Okay. There's lots. Right. The white pit? Yes. Okay. And all those I questions can be, can be directed to the humane officer at a different time. I think. We're getting a little deep in it. Could, yeah. could I make a suggestion? <coughs> that Would you guys be acceptable? Would you, uh, would you agree to meet with us as a, an informal committee? Um, at a regular time or at a different time because we don't we need to be able to get together as a group of no, concerned the council citizens. Members do it. You can't have to not take only two council members. Mm -hmm. right. And not necessarily with the council, but with you, Mayor, and or Alice and Russell, the people and Lester, the people involved in and Tab if you want to come. But with Lois and me and Bridget Fletcher, who owns these beauties in Baskin. Bridget had a doctor's appointment today, or she would be here. She is very critically ill and couldn't be back for the meeting. But would that be something that you'd be willing to do? Uh, I have I have no objections uh, in, in meeting with you at, at any any time that you that you like to. I'd really like to meet every week. Uh, uh, Can we do that? Whoa. 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 <laughs> How about every other week? Can you all rotate in and out to not? Do that. Okay. Uh, and, and we'd be more than happy to do so, but. Until you know, until this is worked out, you know, to its perfection, then, then, then you know, we'll wait to see what the, what the mayor's going to do, and then we'll work with y'all accordingly. Okay. Does that mean you won't meet with us until after it's worked out, or you will meet with us in an effort to get it worked out? We'll, both. We'll meet with you in an effort to get it worked out, and then after it's worked out, we will also continue to to meet with you, you know, so that we can continue to resolve this particular problem. Okay. Ms. We appreciate Ms. it, Kimbrough. Exactly. Uh, what, what are we trying to work out now? Just the semantics of a system so that I don't have to worry about the... I, we want the pictures out. We want, we want the pictures available to the public. We want...